Hi guys, my name is Yeti and welcome to another episode of Yeti Splash. On today's episode of Yeti Splash, I'm going to be sharing with you an information that I got on Telegram that has been circulating and a lot of people are saying that, oh my god, there's now another application that I, I can apply to if my COS have expired, if my COS has been cancelled, if I want to extend my stay in the UK without, even if I don't have a new COS, there's now a new application that I can apply for. Is this true? Is this not true? If you want to find out, stay till the end of this video to find out. I'm going to be sharing the application with you and we're going to be looking at it maybe this is good news maybe this is bad news maybe it is real that yes there's an application in which people who still as a council can put in the uk to extend their stay we're going to find out so don't go anywhere <laughs> hi guys so a lot of people have been sending me messages on instagram on telegram this particular message that you know they've been trying to draw my attention to that people have been sending me to them and i'll show it with you now so that you know what angle i'm coming from it says application to extend stay in the uk flr into bracket ir so people said i don't know how all this telegram whatsapp message will just come and people will just come something so the person wrote for people that their visa has expired or nearly expired or cancelled COS ETC and are yet to get another COS, they can file for further leave to remain through a solicitor to extend their stay legally in UK. What does further leave to remain mean? Further leave to remain is a UK immigration route that enables non-British nationals living in the UK to extend their stay beyond the original validity of their visa or, be or period of limited leave to remain. And then there's a link to the application there. That write-up now that I just read is not from the UK Home Office or anything or from... It wasn't drawn from anywhere. It was just a summary of the person that, you know, made this post that has become viral and has circulated everywhere. So let's look at the, the link. Let me click on the link. So now the link says the application to extend stay in the UK, FLR. Form to extend your stay in the UK for other routes under the immigration rules. Then if you go further, it shows it states that use form FLR IR to apply online to extend your existing visa to stay in the UK, also known as leave to remain and to get biometric resident permit. And now listen closely. This form is for these categories of visa. It's clearly stated there visitors except transit, approved destination status and permitted paid engagement visitors. That's one. For UK ancestry, that means if you have your grandfather, you are a child of someone who your grandparents were British, things like that, you have UK ancestry. Domestic worker in a private household. Domestic worker in a victim of slavery or human trafficking. Parent of a child student. Dependent joiners who are applying separately from the main applicant. Relevant civilian employee. Member of an armed force who is subject to immigration control dependents of a family of a dependent of a member of armed force which are not hm forces dependents of a family member of hm forces should complete that one representative of an overseas business so after going through all of this they also say they also stated that check the immigration rules if you're not sure whether your leave is on a route under the rules s2 healthcare visitors cannot use this online form to apply for an extension of stay read more about extending your s2 healthcare visitor form to make an application on basis of family or private life use this flr fp form to make application for human rights claims leave outside the rules and other routes not covered by other form please use flr hro if you're eligible to apply you will find guidance on how to complete your application and the evidence you will need to provide within the online application form guys did they mention COS anywhere else in this thing that I've just read? Because when in doubt, guys, we all need to actually read. And if you cannot read, contact the solicitor before you either waste your money. Do you understand? Because this person have couched this information in such a way that you would think it was for, he said, for people that visa has expired or nearly expired or cancelled COS, ETC, because we all know that the UK government is on the spree of cancelling people's COS. So those that have been sending this to me are actually people whose COS has been cancelled. And they're saying that, oh, this is another route that they can use to remain in the UK. I do not think so. From my own, I'm not an immigration advisor. Let me put this out there, okay? But from my own understanding of what I just read, I cannot see where they said, if, you, if there was a way for you to, you know, to extend your cancelled COS, 
don't you think that the ekm office will make that known it wouldn't be something like this and it will be clearly written on that website i mean we all read gov.uk we should all read to our understanding so i don't think this is something that is relevant to that so please guys if you're in doubt contact the solicitor don't mind how much you'll be paying it's best for you to contact the uk solicitor i know they charge about 300 pound i guess but it's best to contact them to get enough guidance because information from agents that <laughs> even landed you in trouble in the first place is that the people that you still want to believe anyways that's just the information i said let me share with you guys today okay because a lot of people have been drawing my attention to this and i cannot you know reply everyone personally but i don't think that information is correct of course there's an application for further leave to remain in the uk but like i read it does not apply to those who cs has been cancelled or your visa has expired it is only applicable you know to those that were expressly stated this form is for these categories of visa visitors and you know every other one that i've read and that is showing on your screen right now so please let's be guided all right thank you so much for watching don't forget to click the subscribe button till i come your way next time i still remain your one and only baby girl yeti stay blessed bye guys